Hi! In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about the interface of AutoCAD as well as explore some of its basic operations. So if you haven't started yet your softwares, please go ahead and fire them up. On my desktop, you would notice here the shortcut icon for AutoCAD. And by the way, for the rest of the tutorials, I'll be using AutoCAD 2017. You may also notice that I have pinned down on my taskbar the application for AutoCAD 2017. And of course, you can always access your program by browsing it on the start menu of Windows. And then just click on the application. So in my case, I will just be clicking on the application icon on the taskbar. And please wait for it to load up. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes for it to load all the programs and especially if you have a low-end computer this may take time and if this is the first time that you load up uh, AutoCAD you would notice a lot of splash screens that you have to attend to and this brings you to the start tab of AutoCAD where you could start to draw or open recent documents or connect to the AutoCAD 360. Before we dive right into the workspace of AutoCAD, we need to look at some features first here on the Start tab. Beginning at the bottom, you would notice here that you could switch between Learn and Create. Currently, we are in Create, so once I click on the Learn, it would bring me to some of the features and videos that is shipped with your applications. So these are tutorials and some videos that is brought to you by Autodesk. So let's go back to create. In create, under recent documents, you could switch between preview with details to details or to preview only. So at the default, it is on preview with details. On the get started, start drawing section, you could start using templates, you could open files, you can open a sheet set, etc, etc. And you could also find them here on the title bar. So these are quick access toolbars and similar options here on the get started section. Similarly with the application button, when you click it and you can find similar items also here. So, this brings us to our first rule. My rule in 2D drafting, especially in AutoCAD. Rule 1, always start new drawings with ACAD ISO.DWT template. Unless, of course, you already have created your own templates. So, once I click on the pull-down menu under Get Started section, it will bring you some options to select pre-installed templates already available with you with your programs and if you have created a template it would also be displayed in this particular section now maybe on your systems or your programs the default that is selected would be aka.dwt and you don't want that you would notice that this is in feet or inches meaning whenever you draw using this template all your dimensions, all your geometries will be recorded by AutoCAD in English system. So we don't like that. That's why start always with ACAD ISO.WT because this is metric. And we usually draw in architecture in metric and normally we use millimeters. So whenever you start a new drawing, please click on template and then select on akadiso.dwt make that as a practice even though sometimes if this is the last selection that has been made whenever you start a new drawing this will be the default that will be opened by AutoCAD so go ahead and select akadiso.dwt to bring you to AutoCAD workspace and finally we are here in the beautiful workspace of 
AutoCAD. But before anything else, I would like to reiterate on our first rule to always start your new drawings in acadaiso.dwt. And this brings us to another rule for our class, rule for my AutoCAD class. And I hope that you make this as a habit that you should always start with a template. And secondly, rule number two, always verify your templates by checking your drawing units. This is to make sure that your template is really in metric system. And sometimes, you might allow your laptops or your computers to be utilized by other persons, by your friends, some by your parents and girlfriends. And sometimes they inadvertently change some of your settings. So that's why it's very important to stay with rule number one and then rule number two. To make sure that everything is in proper system. Now, to check your units, we can go up here on the upper left corner of your screen where you can find the application button in red, the capital letter A. And then just click on that to open your application menu. So I would like you to hover towards the drawing utilities and please select and click units so this brings you to the drawing units window and make sure that the insertion scale is millimeters so it's in millimeters we are safe and no one has modeled our system anything else that's good and then just click okay 